Hi, boys and girls, Mrs. Castle here, and we're going to go through the Wonder Devotional again today. If you do not have this book at home, that is okay. We'll go through it together. The most important thing is that you are spending time with God every day, praying to Him, reading the Bible. So today we are on the third page, the third page, and it says, Is the Bible true? And the first scripture we have comes from the book of 2 Timothy chapter 3.16 and it's found in the Word of God and I will read it to you. It says, 2 Timothy 3.16, All scripture is inspired by God and profitable for teaching, for reproof, for correction, and for training in righteousness. Now, boys and girls, it says, how can you tell if something is true? One way is to compare it with other things you know are true. The Bible says, your word is truth. The Bible says that in John chapter 17, verse 17. The facts prove that. Much of the Bible was written by eyewitnesses. They were people who actually saw the things they wrote about. Archaeological and historical writings from Bible times agree with what the Bible says. That helps you know it is true. The Bible told about many things hundreds of years before they happened. These are called prophecies. Many of those things have already come true. God said something would happen and it did. You can be sure all other prophecies will come true too. God knows what will happen in the future. He knew just what to tell the men to write. God has protected the Bible for thousands of years. Many people in history have tried to destroy the Bible. God didn't let that happen. He kept his true word safe so you have it today. The Bible says the grass withers the flower fades, but the word of our God stand forever. Isaiah chapter 40, verse 8. So if you're at home right now, I want you to do something. I want you to find a piece of paper and a pencil or a crayon or a pen or something, and I want you to either write down or draw this. Answer this question and then draw it or write it. What helps you believe the Bible is true? What helps you believe the Bible is true? Now, let's pray. Father, thank you for the Bible. Thank you for giving us your true word and for protecting it these many years. In Jesus' name, amen. Boys and girls, thank you for joining me today, and we'll look forward to talking with you again next week and continuing to have our time with God in the Wonder Devotional. But in the meantime, keep spending time with Him, praying and reading the Bible.